Hi, my love. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life Apothecary. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today, we are going to be focusing on your energy read for the entire month of October of the year 2019. Now, this reading is directly towards my Virgos. So your Virgo sun, your, Virzing, your Virgo rising, or your Virgo moon. I have all of your cards pulled out. I haven't seen them, so I'm going to go ahead and shuffle them really quickly and then flip them over and then we'll see what comes up. Okay, so just a second. And let me angle this down so you can see what I see. Pardon the confusion or the mess. Oh, sorry, I'm zooming in so you guys can see my boobies. It's not intentional, I, prom I promise. So the first card I'm seeing is Moonlight. Elk, stand tall and maintain your dignity no matter what, and others will treat you with the respect that you deserve. The frog, cleaning house, releasing emotional baggage. The owl, deception and wisdom. Innocence, dear God and angels, thank you for helping me to see that all of your qualities of pure love and light are reflected within me and all others. Help me embrace my God-given innocence so that I may be at peace. And as I'm seeing this, I'm seeing double owls here. See the other's point of view. Music. Dreams. Archangel Michael. Fairness. So this card is actually connected to justice. Mother Earth. Of course, my Earth babies. You've got time. Dwell on what you love. Enjoyment. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. And of course, for my Virgos, we have Justice and we have the Ace of Pentacles. Now, the first thing I want to say, the first thing that's coming to me, Virgos, and the reason I'm saying this not because I need to hear it even though I'm a Virgo, I just feel like all Virgos have been in the same pickle jar <laughs> is what I'm going to call it and pretty much I feel like it's like these other signs seem to be getting the other signs of the zodiac seem to be getting a lot of the attention meaning like readings seem to be um, geared towards them and the focus is on them or blessings and even really strong challenges you know these highs and these hot and really low lows those things are pulled toward other signs and I feel like Virgo is almost overlooked by these types of changes these incredible ups and these credible downs but the status quo what it's looked like for Virgo is actually starting to get monotonous and I don't want to say that um, that Virgos haven't experienced a high high or these high moments or these low low moments it, I just feel like the Sometimes when you're going through change and when you are being tested or challenged or you're growing or you're experiencing growth, you can see it. You can see where it's going somewhere or you can see that it's going somewhere. And what I've been feeling like for Virgos is it feels like it doesn't seem like there's a break. It doesn't seem like there's a change in the circumstances. And I feel like the, the point of this and the reason why this is, is because there needed to be an internal change, an internal shift and it can only come from you it comes from a perception it also comes with time and patience that now when i'm saying that i feel like it seems as though um it doesn't seem fair it doesn't seem like life has feel, felt fair for you it feels as though you know you've been doing all this work to rise up to be the best version of yourself to evolve i feel like virgos always find themselves in positions where they're doing things for you know the greater good it's not exclusively for your pleasure meanwhile you're seeing other signs kind of enjoying the fruits of their labors or getting away with murder and for you it's it's life has started to turn almost monotonous and that monotony feels painful it's starting to be draining on you it's taking away from your life energy it's taking away from your ability to actually enjoy your life. Even, and you're one of the hardest working signs, but it's almost as if you're so available that people just 
automatically assume that you're always going to be there. You're always going to be, we can always expect a Virgo or Virgo is always good so we don't need to check in on them. That's not the case and that's not fair. That's truly not fair. At some point, Virgo needs to see a break in the clouds. Virgo needs to see a, a switch kind of um, happen. The word that just came through to me just now is prevail. I don't know why that's the word, but that's just what came through. Like Virgo needs to prevail. Now, how this works for me, for you guys, if you don't already know, I know the definition of certain words, but when they come to me, when they come to me, I have to, I hear it, but I have to pull it up um, and then read it out loud because it provides additional insight and clarity into why that word came through. So prevail means to prove more powerful than the opposing forces, to be victorious, be widespread in a particular area at a particular time, to be current, and to persuade someone or something to do something. So as I'm saying, seeing that, what I feel is that for the month of October, Virgo is going to prevail. It is going to be a moment of victory that doesn't, isn't loud. And that is always Virgo's nature. Virgo is not the loudest one in the bunch. And if they are, there tends to be a little bit of a dysfunction there. There tends to be something happening there. I think that there is going to be a break in the clouds that happens for the month of October for Virgos. We have so many cards here of justice. You have um, the card of fairness here, and you have the card of justice, which is working to build um, you know, balance out the scales a little bit. I think and I feel as though what is happening here is that you are going to see a, a shift. You're going to see a change. It is going to come in. I don't want to say like a lightning bolt because it's not something, like I said before, that's going to be loud. It's going to be something that it's somehow you're going to hear it. Somehow you're going to know. Somehow you're going to feel it. And there's going to be a break. Before that happens, Virgo, and Virgo Sun, Virgo Rising, Virgo Moon, it's very important that you actually, like I'm really drawn to the Moonlight card, okay? This card in the tarot, like moon, the Moon card in the tarot is about deception, and we see the card, the Owl here, of deception, right? But it's not about your being deceived, because the, the scales are balancing themselves out. In fact, even as I'm looking at this hourglass here, it's about time, but it's all about things happening in divine order and the same owl that was in this card that is bringing information and bringing news is here in the card of Moonlight. And with this card, Moonlight, it's all about connecting to that quiet space within yourself and connecting to that greater dream, that greater vision. For Virgos, I don't want you guys to feel disappointed when I say this because if anything, this is the biggest blessing. But Virgos, it's time for you to really start enjoying your life and it starts with you first. This is about, and it doesn't seem like it's fair because you're you're ruled by, you know, Virgos naturally rule the sixth house of being of service to others. But it's like you're in this position where you've been constantly striving and doing so much. Do, 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 do. For yourself, for others, for your environment, for your community. All these responsibilities have kind of fallen on your lap to the point where your life has become almost draining. It's almost become monotonous. It's almost become tasteless. You've lost your ability to see color. You've uh, lost your ability to enjoy things. You're almost like not even intentional with things that it is that you do. It's almost like routine. What I see for you for the month of October, Virgos, please hear me when I say this, is that you do not have all the answers to everything. You're not supposed to have all the answers to everything. Even Virgos will overlook something. And the biggest thing that I think that you've overlooked is your ability to invite in real romance, real joy, real pleasure. Um, not all of those things exclusively, maybe all of like, or maybe not all of those, all of those things that I just said, maybe one of those things. But for Virgos, I wouldn't be surprised if anything that, you know, was to give you joy or give you pleasure, you would be the first one to second guess it. And because it's not practical, because it's not realistic. Earth energy, right? When I see the Mother Earth card, I think first practicality, but I also think abundance. The balance of this, Virgos, hear me, the, va the balance and the truth of this, because you're always seeking truth, you're always seeking clarity, is that there's two signs to every coin. There's two sides to every coin. There's the practicality of your life, 
but there's also the enjoyment pleasure. Virgo and Earth connects to both of those things. It needs to, but Virgo, you've been so hyper-focused on what you think you need to do. You've been so hyper-focused on striving and pushing and working and doing what you are expected to do, following through with your responsibilities, keeping your head low um, to the point where you're your, or maybe just needing to do right. You know what I mean? Sometimes for you guys, you want to do the right thing all the time. Well, right now, Virgo, what is right for you is for you to enjoy beauty again, to invite it in. That is going to be the biggest game changer for you in October is that you don't need to be pushing and striving for this. The scales need to balance themselves out. And the biggest thing that I'm seeing right now is it is time. When I see again the, the hourglass here or whatever you call this thing, I see time. That is a part of things, of the balance of things, is that it's not always you putting in Sometimes it's time for you to receive. And this means, okay, connect back to your dream, the one that is not the most practical, but it's there for your soul pleasure. It's there because, Virgo, you are not meant to be a person, you're not meant to be a robot that, or a person who is so robotic, who doesn't factor in joy for themselves. I think that there are some things that needed to be sorted out um, throughout your life and again it just seems like you know you're watching all of these other signs or all of you know all of these people around you experiencing these highs and these lows you know but it seems like you've kind of been coasting by to the point where again life has gotten monotonous well I think that that coasting has actually been almost like a sortation of things so things have been kind of sorting themselves out and you've been doing the right thing meaning like you know, what is the most responsible. I think that that has been a part of you clearing out emotional baggage, you getting deeper understanding and clarity for who you are and what you want for yourself, and you trying to do the right thing. But I just feel like right now, Virgo, it is so much. When I see you've got time, dwell on what you love. This, and then I see the card of innocence, and this person focusing on, this angel focusing on what's in their hand right now. It is so important, Virgo, like, that you take time out for, like, literally, you've got time. I don't see this as, okay, you have to wait longer. I think that this is truly, time is right here. It's right now. That's intuitively what it is I'm seeing, what I'm feeling. Um, then I'm seeing, you have this Archangel uh, Michael here, and he's blowing the horn. And then we also see the card of music here. And then we're also seeing dreams and these quiet, these quiet energies here. But you know, this quiet energy of stillness within you. And then we're hearing music. You're here. Speaking of which, hey Google, please turn the music down 30%. Sorry guys. But I feel like these are things that it's like, it is a good thing. She definitely didn't turn the music down. Hey Google. Hey Google. Please turn the music off. Oh, okay, she's gonna keep it on. Okay, so maybe that's a sign. I'm literally trying to tell Google to turn the music off. Let me crank this up. I'm literally trying to tell um, Google to turn the music off and she's like, no, you need to listen to this. Meanwhile, I'm holding the cards of music, dream, Archangel Michael. These are things that are unavoidable truths that you need to hear and we think to ourselves, what's the point of music? What's the point of pleasure? What's the point of me listening to the song? What's the point of this? Because your life is not meant to be a rock. It's meant to be a flower. It's meant to be fruitful, abundant. That is what earth energy is, Virgo, but you simply have not allowed yourself truly to enjoy. And I think that when I see the elk card, it is a very grounded animal. This is your animal spirit guide for the month of October. It says, stand tall and maintain your dignity no matter what, and others will treat you with the respect that you deserve. Everyone respects you. Your intention has always been good. But now, Virgo, it is time for you to not be there for everyone else. And for you also, because I also think that internally you need to hear this, that you need to stop doing what is right for everyone and what you think is right and follow your heart. Really ground yourself and follow your heart. There is things on your heart, things that you've heard, things that you've experienced that are almost once in a lifetime, but you have taken away from the beauty of that by trying to rationalize it, by trying to make sense of it. Meanwhile, it's time for you to, it is time. You've got time. This is not, we're going to wait. This is do this now. Make this a priority in your life now. 
I know that logically it might not make sense to you, but again, Virgos, of course it doesn't because you're the one of all the signs, and I know it's because I'm a Virgo, who's always doing work, always being available, always, you know, doing what's right. But this thing, there's something in your hands. There's something that you've been holding on to that is so sweet and so precious that you love that needs to have your heart, that needs to have your devotion, and it's time for you to receive that. And it is about enjoyment. Okay, listen, let me read this card to you guys. Enjoyment, striving and pushing makes life into endless hard work. The more you're inviting love to take over, the more enjoyment comes. Allow me to enjoy this life. Honestly, I want you guys to hear that it is not all about, if we're talking about balance and justice and the scales, Virgo, you've already done the work. In fact, you have this mindset sometimes that feels like, okay, this needs to happen, this needs to happen in order for me to receive it. You're watching other signs and other people just receive blessing and receive love and receive money and receive security and receive attention and recognition just because they are open to receiving it. So they get more of it. Meanwhile, you've put all these conditions on it. It is time for you, it is truly time for you to hold on to this thing and realize that that is good. Realize that you enjoying your life and you taking accepting into your life. This guy is holding a puppy. This little angel is holding a puppy. And the puppy is there. Maybe it could be the dog is there to be, you know, work in the fields. But a lot of us have animals in our lives for companionship because they're loyal, because they're we love them. You know what I mean? And it's like it's time for you to see that that is good. That's when I'm seeing the card innocence. I think you need to see that it's, you need, that that's something that you need to have for yourself. All right? I think that there has been, when I see religious factors, I feel like it's not just religious things. Although for some of you guys, this might resonate. For some of you guys, it is this belief internally. It's this really ingrained belief within you that says, oh no, I shouldn't, no, I can't, no, that's not the right thing to do. It's not always about what is the right things to do. It's about what you need to do in order to allow yourself to enjoy this life. Do you think God or the universe or the divine brought you here so that life could be an endless chore? No. Yes, you're going to be of service to others, but do it, you know, be of service to others, but also allow yourself to enjoy the process. Um, it's not all about work all the time. It's not all about saying no. It's not about all about practicality. And that's, I have a bug bite on my, um, ankle I'm so sorry um, and then the ace of Pentacles is I'm seeing the ace of Pentacles but I am very focused on the garden I'm seeing the garden and again this brings me back to mother earth energy who right now is guiding you earth babies earth babies listen like mother earth wants you to enjoy your garden and she doesn't want you to be in that garden alone she doesn't want that garden to be barren she doesn't want you to be sitting there alone isolated crying into the plants she wants the garden to be fruitful, abundant, butterflies, living energy, giving life. And then she wants you to be able to, to share that abundance with other people, with the community, with your friends, with your family. That's what she wants. Because why create all this beauty if it can't be shared? It is time for you, Virgos, to step back into this dream space. That is what is fair. That is what is right. When I see, see others' point of view, again, it's just seeing things from a different way. Seeing that, okay, it's not your way all the time. Virgos tend to be right. We, we always tend to be right. Like we always have give the best advice. We always know because we pick up on everything. But Virgo, it's time for you to see that maybe your way, maybe your thinking of doing things all the way has actually denied you the pleasure, the enjoyment of what it is that you rightfully deserve now. And now it's not so much about being there and being strong for others as much as it's time for you to enjoy the blessing, to enjoy the beauty, to enjoy the abundance. October is going to be a month of that for you. For some reason, I feel really called. My loves, oh Virgo, like you're such an angel. Like, I started with Virgo first to, to do this reading for Virgos because you're, you're overlooked. Yeah, oh my god. Goodbye. <laughs> I see choose wisely and then the card dream, right? Right back to this card dream, this card moonlight. Some of you guys truly need rest, but I don't see you being stagnant. I see it being like resting in beautiful places, going on vacation, sitting in your hammock, 
um, getting new sheets, things that I enjoy, and I don't see it being like quiet. I see it being like um, indulgent, self-indulgent. Okay, choose wisely, be discerning. You don't have to keep everything in your net. When I see this, I feel like Virgo, you don't have to do everything. Choose to dream, follow your yearning for the deep blue sea. And we have dreams, we have moonlight, we have enjoyment, we have mother earth. We have this garden within the Ace of Pentacles. We have music. These are the things I'm seeing. We see the frog cleansing and actually like, you know, releasing that emotional baggage because some of you guys are so drained from all of this. One last card, one last card. Because I feel like Virgos are gonna be like, okay, well just how do I do that? How, give me, give me a path. Oh, stop, look. Oh my God, get grounded, get grounded. Come back down to earth, get out of your head. Get grounded, put your hands in the earth. Spend time with animals. I just got an animal, I just got a rabbit. <laughs> I'll be sharing it on my, my Instagram soon. Then we have Woo Woo is Wonderful. This is about self-love. Woo Woo is Wonderful, that shows you how important you are. It's not about you striving. It is time for you to enjoy yourself, the pleasures, the pleasures. Be generous with yourself and then also share that abundance with other people. For the sake of, I freaking like you, I freaking love you, I enjoy your company, come into my garden. Or yes, I'll join you. I would love to come to this you know, party with you. I would love to sit in a hammock with you. I'll, yes, I'll go on vacation. Yes, I'm gonna make this a priority. That's what you need to choose. That is the wise choice. That's what you need to do, Virgo. All right, my loves. So readings are actually reopening again for the month of October, so links for that will be down below. I appreciate you watching. Oh, look, dwell on what you love. Focus on what you love. Sit with that. Don't sit with anything else. That's the right thing to do. So Virgos, um, honestly, it's such a blessing to be able to read for you guys because I'm a Virgo, but if anybody needs it, it's the Virgos because we're they're the ones that are overlooked. Okay. Make sure that you're subscribed to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from, and I'll see you in my next one.